Hello viewers, welcome to Life Forge International Academy. This is Richard Kadline. And I'm Danisha. So we're back with another role play presentation. So Danisha, we have a card in this card, an exam module cue card. So we have to say that last year, which is 2022, we have to do a similar pattern. That's why we have to do an exam in recently. We have to do a similar pattern. So we thought, why not share it with you guys as well? Because one pattern repetition baru pula. Ada answer tu, nama le prepare je, orang ni kalau exam itu sami itu, nama kita orang be grade kita ni, ada boleh ni nanti dia ni present je, orang ni chances tu, balik record tu lana. So that's what we are going to do today. Ini ada card ni, ada ni settings ni pergi tu, kuda tu lana, tanya siapa ni. Yes. So, nama le role play card ni setting ni baru ni ada, orang old age care facility ana. Nama le patient orang 82 year old lah, orang lah orang mother ana. So, all the daughter ni orang ni nama le ni sama sahaja. Exactly. So, ini orang patient ni recently ada nama le care home lagi mana tu. Clinical observations in the sami tu, we found that the mother has some pressure sores or some bed sores. Adi ni pergi itu doktor nak explain sih ini tu, doktor ni concern so kan terus sih ini tu, type itu lor card ana. So let's see how this is going to be. So dah ni sih hari kim doktor ni part play sih ini tu, and I'll be playing the part of the nurse. That's your cue card, and you have three minutes to prepare. Thank you. Well, your time starts now. Good morning. Good morning. I am Miss Caroline. I am the registered nurse working in this facility. Are you Mrs. Emily's daughter? Yes, I am. May I know your name, please? I am Daisy. All right, Daisy, how are you feeling today? I am good. All right. So I just finished the clinical observations of your mother and I am here to discuss a few things about her with you. Mm -hmm. Before we get into any further discussion, I would like to know, is there anything you would like to know in particular about your mother? I don't have any specific concerns about her. Mm -hmm. I just hope that she is doing good. I can assure you that she is perfectly all right. She is in safe hands. She is doing well. She is happy. Even her vitals are reassuring. So all we can say is she is improving in a quite steady way. Well, that's all I wanted to hear about. All right. I'm very happy for that. So as I told you, I have few things to discuss about her condition. While I was examining her, I came across a couple of bed sores on her thigh. So I wanted to know whether you were aware about it? No, I was not. All right. No problem. So could you also tell me whether where you know anything about it? Well, I've heard about bed sores, mm -hmm. but I don't know much about them. No problem, I'll explain that to you, okay? So bed sores or pressure sores, uh, these are damages to the skin or the underlying tissue, which is resulted from constant friction or pressure on the skin mm -hmm. due to lack of blood flow mm -hmm. or many other vascular problems. And you know that all these points add to your mother's case as well. She is immobile, she is not able to move around, and she spends most of her time on the wheelchair as well. So I hope you understand what is a bed sore. Yeah. So do you have any questions to ask me about it? Uh, yes, I'm really concerned about my mother's condition now. Mm -hmm. And I wonder, how does she get this? Well, that's quite a good question from your end. I understand as a daughter you're really upset about all these bed sores of your mother. But don't worry, I'll explain what might be the causes for her bed sores. So as I told you, these are uh, caused from pressure, friction or immobility. And in your mother's case, she spends a lot of time on the wheelchair. So she might be getting a pressure from the wheelchair or a friction from her clothing or bedding or due to being immobile as well. But don't worry, this is quite a treatable condition and we just found out that she has this. So we'll start with the immediate care. So as of the immediate care, we will clean the wound and we will dress it properly. Do you have any other concerns? Uh, yes, she needs to spend more time on her wheelchair and this is bound to happen again in future. So how can we prevent this? Well, I can understand what you are saying and why, and I'm sorry to say that this is bound to happen again unless she is taken care of properly. So with us, she will be completely safe, and I can assure you that we will take really good care of her. Speaking of the prevention of bed sores, if we change her position every now and then, and if we closely observe her skin on a daily basis, we can prevent 
reoccurrence of the bed sores. So you do not have to worry about your mother. Is there anything else bothering you? No, not really. Okay. So I hope I have clarified everything for you. And uh, don't worry, your mother is safe with this. In case if you need any further information, you are free to come here and we will talk about it. Okay. okay? So thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Alright, so that's the end of this cue card and I hope it was helpful for you guys. So then sure, how do you feel about it? I think it went well. And Rich, I kind of video to Namala Koshinala sentences of Kavendi on Nodi explain Jedu Gotapole. In the role play, Namala, you see the Nala sentences on Nodi discussing on the Vijayaka. Yes, they will definitely do that. She even a cue card to Pratel and which turning and Namal Parana points of the Niana repeatedly parin even the Pilil Namal no quantity and to move the task girl than a similar points and Namal explain Jedu. So, in the situations, repetition in the is a problem for the candidates. So, that's how you avoid it. That's how you avoid it. You can discuss three sentences. In three different contexts, I will give you three sentences. First sentence is, Her vitals are reassuring. Normally, we have a lot of things stable and we don't have any questions in the cue card. So, in the context, we have to say her vitals are reassuring. Another statement I used here is, this is an empathy statement and an acknowledgement statement. Dhanush, I have to ask you a question. Why are you in a wheelchair? If you have a problem in a wheelchair, this is bound to happen again. If you have a problem in a wheelchair, I can understand your concern, that's a reasonable query. In the repeated title sentence, there was a sentence that I used which is, I can quite understand what you are thinking and why. That's a very beautiful statement. I'll repeat the statement one more time. I can quite understand what you are thinking and why. Here is a statement that we have to say that you can understand what you are thinking and why 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 you are thinking now, we have to continue the statement in a continuous statement. We have to do a statement in a continuous statement. That is, if we don't have a proper right to say this, we will be able to use the name. So, we will use the word unless. We will use the word unless. We will use the two contradicting things. So, I will repeat the statement again. It is bound to happen again unless she is taken care of properly. So, in some cases, we have to ask the patients if you have any cue card, we will have to ask them if you have any cue card, we will have to ask them if you have any cue card, we will have to ask them. So, I hope this is helpful for you guys. If yes, let us know in the comment section. So, Danishim, I am going to take care of you.